What's up, what it is, what it do? This is Marco, the artist of Masterminds Connect. And today I'll be giving you a tour of my office, AKA the Cave of Wonders. So sit back, grab a drink, grab a snack. He thought I was about to rap, but that's whack. Let me show you the world. There is a cave, boy. A cave of wonders, filled with treasures beyond your wildest dreams. Here is my office. This is what it looks like from a 360 view. It's important to have things that inspire you all around you, especially if you don't leave the house like I do. So I like to look around and be inspired. I, I like to see things that I used to like from my childhood, so it reminds me of those times, and then I can import it into my current art. I have a bunch of things that I created, a bunch of things that other people created that inspire me every day. And it's very important to have this because, you know, your home is your sanctuary, so you should like to be there. Let's see how it used to look. Like I said, this didn't happen overnight. This took time. Look at that, the walls are bare. You have those stupid clickety-clack curtains, a box full of markers. Nah, nah, this is the past. Let's go to the present. So starting off, we have my badges from different conventions that I've been to. Kamikaze, Designer Con, Comic Con, and uh, I would recommend you go into these things because there's a lot of inspiration. It's my Hulk poster, my favorite Marvel superhero. Here's a poster filled with a bunch of Marvel characters. Very good inspiration. It also hides my marker board with a bunch of mastermind solutions. Now, more, more badges. My scar hat. This is my Marvel section. We have Storm looking over the office. I love you 3000. Shout out to Iron Man. Thank you for what you've done for us. Thanos, Spider-Man, Hulk from Thor Ragnarok. These figures are actually from Diamond Select. They're called Marvel Select. They have really good posing and the characters look really true to their actual selves. This is Wakanda right here. We have Killmonger. We have the battle between Black Panther and Killmonger going on. Miles Morales chilling. We have a Black Panther comic book. These are the boxes that the Marvel Select figures come in. I like the package design of the side. Here are some Copic markers. They're really very smooth when you color. They're expensive, but they, they work very well. I actually created this holder using PVC pipe. I cut it down and I glued them together. And if I need more, I can just cut another one, glue them on top, kind of like a puzzle. Moving on, the big Shactus. I really like these figures from Enter Bay. Um, they have really good posability. In the back, there's a sticker board, some stickers from my boy, Miguel Wilson, the Prince and Michael Jackson sticker. Here's some, uh, this is the Batman section. I really like Batman. You see Batman chilling on the side, he's posting up. Got the Ninja Turtles next to him. This picture is by Reno Massad, who inspired me early on. Um, gave me a lot of good marker tips. We got Raph and Mikey chilling on the shelf. They're just hanging out. You know, they're doing what they do. Some more Batman things. And this up here is my, my toy shelf. I got this shelf from Ikea. I put them together to make one big shelf. And they have little ladders on them. So it reminded me of the Mario and Donkey Kong game right there. Let's see what's on the shelves. A little more detail. Jesus Christ! I got that from Brazil when I went on a missions trip. Crash, my first video game that I ever owned. We got Mario and DK chilling out with the DK Pez. Got some pins, some Legos. This is uh, the vehicle from Mighty Ducks. 
If you remember Mighty Ducks, let me know. Got the Nickelodeon section, Cat Dog, the Rugrats. Got some DC heroes. Shout out to Jordan for those. And yeah, that's uh, that's the toy show. Let's see. Moving on, this right here is actually supposed to be upright, but I put it sideways because it fit on my desk better. You know why? Because I do what I want. I make my own rules. This is my my sports section. Rest in peace, Kobe, my favorite athlete ever. We have Muhammad Ali versus Rocky. Spider-Man, of course. That's a poster of Niobe signed by the creators. Right here is the Pokemon Stadium. Charizard, Jolteon, Gyarados, Machamp, Mewtwo, Ash, Pikachu. And it won't be complete without Pokemon cards. Look at that. I know you see that Charizard. I gotta look on eBay to see how much he's going for. Still probably not gonna sell it though. And moving on to Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z. Got my boy Piccolo fighting Goku. Sonic Mania. I think I got that from E3. Kingdom Hearts. And My Hero Academia. I was able to go to the premiere earlier this year. And uh, that was really cool. Shout out to Wes. And this poster is by Action Hank Beard, who actually helped me out in the art journey, watching his videos and stuff. As I was saying earlier, I like to break up my office into sections. So the left side is more of inspirational art that I didn't create. And on the right is more of my own personal art. If you see something that you like, or you haven't seen before, it's probably on my Instagram, so check it out. And here's my couch, Haitian flag, sac passé. Um, this curtain bearing my logo was actually a tapestry that I glued down to make a window curtain. So you gotta be inventive. Up top here is a bunch of television shows that I like, Simpsons, Rick and Morty, Bob's Burgers. Yeah, you got to be creative with these things. I have Pickle Rick, Kermit the Frog. What's up, Mushu? That's my dog. Um, this is the view from my couch. And this is where I like to relax, watch some cartoons, get some inspiration, take some notes. And that's mostly the Disney section right here. I'm a huge Disney fan, obviously. Um, so let's take a closer... Look, there's some of the art I created. Fun stuff, fun times. I know you see the VHS tapes. Throw back when you see the white VHS tapes. And this picture is actually pretty special. It's, I got it from Comic-Con. I was watching a panel with John Musker, one of the directors from Hercules, and he drew it in like two minutes because I was wearing a Hades tank top. Moving on, this is an action figure pack from The Lion King from like the 90s. The Magic Lamp. Woody, why are you always drunk, Woody? Just, just stop drinking. Anyways, see more of the tapes. Disneyland Mickey ears. And this picture is actually cool because I've had it for about 20 to 25 years. It used to be in the basement of my house in New York. This vase was actually from my cousin, Purple Lettuce. Thanks for that. Let's take a closer look at some of my Disney figures. Got Tarzan, Flick, Hercules, Aladdin, Frozone. Shout out to Samuel L. Jackson. He killed that role. This Lion King, Simba, is actually one that I had since I was like four. You still see the, the scratch marks from when I used to play with it. This shelf is actually made out of wood and glued together. This wasn't bought anywhere. But I think it gives like a cool like stadium vibe. If you're familiar with Phantasmic, you'll know why I put Mickey facing off with Maleficent's dragon. 
Fun fact, I used to work at Disney World and I used to work at that show. Listen to the show two times a night, every night. So it was like embedded in my head. And we have Scar, of course, the greatest Disney villain. This is a, a like a rolling shelf thing I use for my paint for portability. I have a shelf here where I store my merch. If you want some merch, hit up my site. I have a cutting board, a scale, a Lego set. I store my prints down there. And here I have stickers, a bunch of packaging materials. It's good to stay organized. This is my Nickelodeon section. Here's a painting I created and a few of my, my Nickelodeon greatest hits. Got Nickelodeon 64 and Hot Boy Summer up there. And right here, Hey Arnold. The greatest Nickelodeon show. I feel like it was like therapy for kids because the jazz music and wasn't too exciting. It's very calming. And SpongeBob, which is completely opposite, but is the most successful Nickelodeon show. Here I have some mirrors. Good for making faces and drawing them. And Prince of Egypt. 100% underrated. Look at this. This this is fantastic. What's up, Mushu? Now, here is a view of my desk, which is actually secondhand. I got it from an office building. They were throwing it away. And uh, here's my Cintiq tablet. Wouldn't recommend it unless you, you're really, really serious. I mostly use this though, my iPad. I put my iPad up here and it's actually like a, a laptop tray to go on the couch, but I use it because it's elevated. So it's more like, it's more like drawing like an animation table. This right here is a bullet journal. Um, it was suggested to me by my friend, John, Hustle to Create, he's my business coach. Write down goals, you know, your progress, very good to keep track of things. Highly recommended. These are two X-Men comics that were a gift from my cousin. Thanks, bro. Spider-Man, the art of the movie. I love looking at this book because, you know, you can search things on the internet for references and stuff and inspiration, but something about having a book, it's really cool to like see the actual pages, the actual art. Really good inspiration. Love that movie. And this book, a Disney sketchbook. I contemplated getting this book for so long because it was pretty expensive, but completely worth it. You can see the feeling of the sketches in every picture. It was actually purchased at Disneyland right next to the animation building. If you've ever been there, they have a bunch of screens and pictures on the walls, and that's kind of how I... I based my room on. I was really inspired by the Disney Animation Building. Well, that's it. That's the end of the Cave of Wonders tour. I hope you had a good time. I hope you learned something. I hope you have a little more knowledge on how to create your own Cave of Wonders. Remember, this is not built in a day. Take your time, find out what you like, plan it out, and have fun with it. This is your sanctuary. This is what, this is where you are when you do what you do, you feel me? If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to get back to every one of you. Shout out to Silly Phil for the music. I'll leave his info in the description. Shout out to Mushu who will not leave me alone. This is Marco the Artist once again with Masterminds Connect reminding you, just use your brain. Just use your brain.